I'm going to now uh, demonstrate the activities for the delete page section of the item management chapter. This is the final section that contains activities. There's our exercises following this. I'm not going to cover the exercises. So uh, basically what we want to do is uh, provide the ability for the user to uh, delete a page. So when the user indicates that they want to delete a given, oh sorry, a news item, to delete a news item, that we have this confirmation uh, web page. They have to uh, confirm that operation. So modify the news item DAO. Here's the new function. It's a delete function. Let's go ahead and add that. And uh, let's go in here to use item DAO. There it is. Let's go ahead and uh, put this down here. Just tighten it up there. And uh, I'm just going to modify the deployment descriptor. We're going to add a new servlet. That's down here. Go to the bottom. Once again, just clean it up. This lines up with the other ones. I think I put a space in there. And the delete news item servlet, we need to create that. It's in the web publisher.web uh, package. Get rid of that space right there. This is HTTP servlet. There it is. And we'll replace that with this um, code right there. Paste it in there. And um, just format it. Done with that. And uh, the JSP, delete news item dot JSP. Copy the name so I don't have to type it out. Go ahead and create that. It's a file. And there it is. Go back here. There's the suggested contents. Save that. And we're ready to test. Go through the standard uh, procedure. Stop. Start. Check message. And now test. Let's edit this. Uh, I'm sorry, delete. This is CSUSB. As you can see, we have these items here. Fox News. Let's delete Fox News. Are you sure? Cancel. Uh, it's still there. As you can see, it's still there. Delete Fox News. Are you sure? Delete. There it is. We've deleted it from the list. So that completes the activities that are in the delete page section of the item management uh, chapter.